And like gangbangers, you know, it's always beefs against something that's like you, mm-hmm. look like you. And, and the, all they beefs is like, you know, it's almost like now Crips fighting Crips, Bloods fighting Bloods, you know. Everybody fight within their own little gang. So it's like they self-destructing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Let's get back to you, man. I got a question. So, um, okay, when we were talking off camera and stuff yeah. like that, we were talking about, my question to you is, why haven't you, because you say you gangster, but you say you don't join gangs or anything like that. Yeah, I said it's the difference come, between a gangster and a gang banger. Why have you never been a gang banger? Because I knew from a young age, you know, or I never did being a Muslim because the one thing about gangsters and Muslims is the reason I never gang bang is because the one thing I noticed is like if you look at this, this is what the no one thing in the history of gang banging. Here go the problem: less than two percent of crimes against the white man is by the black man. Wow! So what that mean is the only reason gentrification exists is because the white man know he's safer in the hood than he is in Beverly Hills. Mm-hmm. Mm. So that means me gang banging is just a contract to self-destruct my people. You know what wow. I mean? Wow. Yeah. So when you're a gangster, you go by a different set of rules, kind of if you know, you know. But gang banging not include, I'm not going to kill you because of the color of your flag, this and that, or right. woo 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 But... You know, so it's a set of rules that's different. So I just don't, and like gangbangers, you know, it's always beefs against something that's like you, mm-hmm. look like you. And, and the, all they beefs is like, you know, it's almost like now Crips fighting Crips, Bloods fighting Bloods, you know. Everybody fight within their own little gang. So it's like they self-destructing, you know what I mean? Which don't mean, but in, in, everybody, but you know, they put it, they talk about the, um, you know, so my my point my point of view is just basically saying, you know, if I'm gonna put in work, I'm just not gonna kill everybody that look like me and act like me. But I ain't found no reason to put in work on nobody else. <laughs> you know, they want to kill a motherfucker. They they want to shoot the motherfucker. They get caught in the trap. But y'all ain't saying shit to the niggas that set the trap. What the fuck? Yeah. The motherfucker that set the trap is worse than the motherfuckers that get caught mm-hmm, in the trap. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's why I'm always mad at people when they talk about the it is so hard on niggas to get caught in the trap. Mm-hmm. But y'all ain't mad at the motherfuckers that set up the trap. That's the real That's the real level of That's evil. Yep. When they set a trap for you to get caught in and this motherfucker caught a trap and you mad at him. Well pull yourself up and get you you know, that's why I don't fuck with niggas that golf. <laughs> <laughs> me and you, be, hey, ass hey, nigga. hey, I'm the same I way. I ain't fuck with no nigga that golf. You can't trust them. Mm-hmm. You ever see a nigga on a golf course? No. A nigga on a golf course, their behavior and the way they act, these want to be white accepted niggas. Wow. They is the worst. I'm, I don't. I mean, I listen. I mean, if you see me on the golf course, you better. <laughs> you should just turn your back because I'm probably going to rob somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.